the puddle. He said they were gonna say things like, "Oh, you know that, that you know I'm that's fine. I'm just gonna give. I'm just the benefit of uh, benefit of the doubt." He says, "Definitely, listen. I want you to tell them people there is no way that doubt could ever have a benefit. Doubt does not have a benefit. If it's doubt, it's doubt. You don't benefit doubt at all. Now I'm just gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. No, you better pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. You better listen to what God is leading you with. There is no benefits in doubt. None whatsoever. He said they were going to say, well, you know, I'm just going to get in the benefit of the doubt. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to be, play, play with it if you want to. Play with it if you want to. That's quicksand over there. That's quicksand. Then he went on further to say to me, he said, and you got to understand this, that the quicksand, the quicksand, right? The quicksand already means that they are swallowed up in it. They're swallowed up in it. They are swallowed up in it. So the assignment now is to get you in it. And you automatically got to know that it's connected to your emotions. It's going to try to channel through your emotions to get you through your emotions. Holy Spirit, hey, listen, can I go out there and fly like a kite? Can I? Listen, it's going to try to get you through the emotions. Because it will be the emotions that will say to you, well, I'm, you know, I'm just going to, anybody that we've given the benefit of the doubt to, I want you to think about it. It is because we were emotionally connected to him. So it's going to try to attempt to come through emotions. God help me. It's going to attempt to try to come through emotions. But it's quicksand. It's quicksand. This ain't the time to fool with people. Based on an emotional level, y'all. This is not the time to fool with people based on emotions. It's going to be dangerous. I want out. It's going to be very dangerous. This is not the time to fool with people because of emotions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Spirit of the Lord is unctioning you, gives you an unction. This could be prophetic. And you... (laughs) Either somebody's dealing with it or it's prophetic, but I can't get off of it. If the Spirit of the Lord is auctioning you about somebody, don't play with it. Do not move past the auction. It's quicksand. Do not move past the auction. This here that the Lord has said this morning is to take us to another place. God is wanting to lead us to another place. To get us over across this Jordan, which is in our wealthy place, our transference of wealth, our minds being whole, the peace and the shalom of God taking us out of Shittim. It's not the time. These are warnings that God is giving to allow us to see how it is going to come. Don't let your emotions get you messed up. Don't let your emotions get you messed up. Verse 9, Joshua said unto the children of Israel, Come here and hear the words of the Lord your God. He says, Come here. Make it to a place where God now wants to talk to you. But let me show y'all something. The people did not get to hear from God until they did right by Joshua. And them officers. Somebody help me. Somebody, somebody please pray. You can do all you want thinking that you, well, you know, God loves everybody. And I know God hear me. That's a lie from the pits of hell. God moves by order. 
did not get an opportunity to hear from God until they followed protocol. They did not get an opportunity to hear from God until they followed protocol. Some y'all, some people are struggling with hearing from God in the capacity that you should because you're not following protocol. You first got to come out of shit to them. Secondly, you've got to become subject one to another. That was the officers. And I understand that a lot of you don't get this kind of stuff because this is not stuff that's taught. But you're getting it now. You're hearing it now. You're getting it now. Grab a hold of it in the place that the Lord has you at now to spare your lives. And to be able to live the rest of your days in God's glory for real. In the presence and power and wisdom and authority and love of God. They had to come out of Shittim. They had to become subject second to the officers, to those that were among them that had been raised up. Now, that also meant that the officers themselves had to be in position. Woe be unto any officer that is not in position. Woe be unto anybody that is not in position. Woe be unto anybody that is not walking in delegated authority. There is a woe in the Holy Spirit. There is a woe in the spirit realm. Woe. Because the officers are the ones that were supposed to comfort the people. They were the ones that were supposed to deal with the people. To go about to make sure that the people. I, the officers. After that, Joshua was able to stand up. And when Joshua stood up, the Lord spoke to Joshua. Joshua was able to tell the Lord, we are good now. We're in a good place now. And when he was able to say that we are in a good place now, he then heard from the Lord. He then could bring the people before the Lord. There is protocol to this. There is order to this. Please, don't let these myths that have been out for years telling you, well, God loves everybody. He does. But unfortunately, some of the very ones, well, all of the ones that he loved will spend eternity in hell. Not by God's design, but by their choices. Don't allow your choices to cost you the kingdom. Do not allow your choices to cost you the kingdom. Apostle, do you have anything? Yes, ma'am. First of all, I want to just bless the Lord for the word that he is releasing to us. And this word, and I say to us because it's to all of us. None of us are exceptions. But this word is very, very um, prophetic in nature in the sense of the father said to me as she was speaking that the three days is the next three months, May, June and July. You have the opportunity to get shit off of you because really shit was the place between like she just said was that where they encamped between when they left the wilderness and before they crossed into the Jordan. So meaning before you leave the place that has, you have been moving around and repeating the same cycles. My God, it's some things that you just keep repeating. And every time you feel like you're going to break through, something happens, it seems like you go back. It's because you have not dealt with that shit to mess on you. It's those those unforgiveness places. It's those places of procrastination. It's those places, those places that you know are in your life that you need to get rid of. Those things are blocking your breakthrough into your promised land, the things that God has promised you. So until you, the next three months, you got an opportunity she likes you. Boy, this word is so awesome, y'all. Uh, listen, you need to hear this on like five levels. This word is so awesome. The next three months, you got an opportunity to cut off those shit. Some people that, that help you stay in your shit. Oh, uh, girl, this, 
this all right. It's all right. It don't, it's okay. No, it ain't. You keep allowing me to stay in this same dumb place. I keep repeating the same cycle. How you going to pat me on the back and tell me it's all right? No, it is not all right. It's time for me to break through. If God is, if God is God and he is who he says he is, I should not be in this same place. I should have broken through to my next place. If God said I'm a millionaire, why am I not there? If God, all these things that God has made these promises for, I am the hold up, not God. So he's saying, I'm going to give you the next three days. He's already spoken to us as a body and said, this is a reset moment. Because literally we were supposed to cross over in 2013. The body of Christ was supposed to cross in 2013 into the promised land. The things that God had promised. Some of us crossed, some did. But those that did not cross, what he said was, in this moment right here, that you have an opportunity to reset and find the opportunity to find those things that have caused you to stop and to be hindered. And in this moment, if you will find those things, when we come out of this, you will be propelled to the place you were supposed to be before the reset, before this came up and that you got hindered in. So please take this word serious today. Go examine yourself. What has caused me to repeat places? What has caused me to be in the same situation or even a worse situation? than I was last year this time or the year before that. But think about where you were. Father, I hear you. Think about where you were in 2013 and see how much progress you made. And when you do that, you're going to know. And then you need to search and say, well, what caused me not to leave this place? Or, you know, you make 12, three steps forward and then two steps back. Let me share this too. In that place of Shittim, they had, that's the place they encamped after they had just had two victories. They just, they just won two victories. So just because you had a little victory don't mean that you had crossed over. It just means that you had two victories. So don't let those victories cause you not to get the greater victory. So May, June, and July, when you enter into August, August is the number eight in the natural calendar. That means that that's a new beginning. But also in the, that's the Gregorian calendar. But in the Hebraic calendar, that's number 10. That's divine order. That means you done set some things in order so that you can obtain that which God has already set for you. This is a, this man, listen, like I said, hear this word on another level, because this is the father, truly speaking, as she said, this order, the protocol, be sure you are properly aligned, properly aligned, aligned so that your generation can get what has been promised to them. A lot of times our ancestors could not get us to the promised land because they just were not prepared, they're not equipped, but we are in an era now where there's no reason why we cannot move forward into promise and bring those in generations behind us to where they're supposed to be. I mean, that's, I mean, I got, so I, that's all I really got, but I really want us to know, take this word serious. The next three months, look at yourself because when August gets here, you want to be propelled to where you were supposed to be as a 13, but you missed the window, but he's so gracious to reset, to bring you back to a place. Now, Oh God. And he would say, oh, let me go back to this. He was said to us as a body, that midwives were being birthed right now to help push people on over. There's a scripture where Hezekiah, it, it, it talks about Hezekiah, and it said they come to the place to give birth, but there was not enough strength to give birth. So even some of you were in places, Father, I hear you, in 2013, that you were ready, but nobody was available, nobody was strengthened enough to push you on over. Well, you ain't gonna have that excuse this time, because you're in a position now where you, if the midwife is prepared to help push you mm. on over into your promise, you just gotta connect in. You gotta hook in with that midwife and let that midwife help you get on over. And then you gotta learn how to hear God on that place. That's gonna be a whole other thing. You gotta learn how to hear God in that place. Yeah, you can hear God in this place, but God's trying to give you past, safe passage to hear him in the next place. That's the whole point of those leaders. That's the whole point of those priests going in and standing in the way so you can come through. But they, they give you safe passage to the next place. But what the enemy will do, Father, I hear you, and this is what she's talking about. He'll get you turning inside. You don't need nobody here. You can hear from God for yourself. Yes, you can. Don't be, don't, hey, yes, you can. You were born with the Holy Spirit inside of you. That's a whole other teacher for another time. But he doesn't have, may not have come on top of you. But anyway, and moving on from that, just understand, you can hear him in this place. You had a victory in this place. But for the next place, he wants to lead you. He wants to give you safe passage into that next place. May, June, July. If you don't remember nothing else I said. May, June, and July, allow yourself to get rid, get the shit off of you so you can cross this Jordan into your place of promise. I'm through, Pastor. Glory to God. Glory to God. Am I? Okay. Y'all can hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So check this out. Who on here remember the month? 
that I told y'all.